Hey, I'm Pastor Goodman. I am the content executive at Higher Things, and we are going to be using some of these video shorts to take a look at some of the pre-conference Bible studies that you are all getting uh, for the For You conference that's uh, coming up real soon. I hope you're registered. I hope you're coming. I hope you're excited. I am. In the very first Bible study, we are told to take a look at uh, John chapter 1, verses 1 to 14, and ask, how is the word described? Who is the word? What did he do? And the word is God. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And that word became flesh and dwelt among us. Light was brought to darkness that the darkness would not overcome it. And it doesn't just remind us that God once became man so that we would have more than our works and desire to pretend that things are actually better than they are in this world. It actually addresses something wrong with a lot of our prayers. We take a look at what's wrong, what's driving us to prayer, the, the guilt over what you've done, the fear over being known, the desperation to make somebody else's suffering, their sickness, their cancer go away. And we try and find the right words, not just to express ourselves, our wants and our fears and our hopes, but to try and somehow convince God to do something about this stuff. And John tells us that we are doing it backwards. He says, in the beginning was the word, that the word existed before the thing that it described. There was a word before there was a creation to match it, before everything fell apart into sin and left us wondering. There was an explanation, an understanding, a comfort. See, we're not matching words to creation. God is matching creation to his word. Now the words right now don't line up with what we see. We can hear words like peace and hope and love, but we don't find them, which is why prayer can be so difficult sometimes. And so we are given this text to remind ourselves that God works not just to explain away what's bad, but to actually address it. The word was with God and the word was God and the word became flesh to dwell among us, that God became man to die for you, that the words are not just here to explain away what's wrong with creation, but answer everything that drives us to desperate prayer, sin, death, the power of the devil. Here, God works to fix it before everything goes wrong. God starts to speak the answer, the truth powerful enough to conquer it. The word that existed even before sin became flesh to answer sin, to forgive sin, to grant hope to those burdened by it. A light was brought to darkness and darkness cannot overcome it. We know what these concepts are, light and darkness, but there's a word driving them. And that word always existed. That word was always a comfort. It is always a light shining in a dark place. When we are driven to prayer and we don't really know how to fix what's wrong, we get to be reminded that the word that we're looking for is Jesus. And that word answered our prayer long before we could even think to utter it. God's plan was resolved before creation was ever formed. Before you were ever driven to prayer, God has already worked for you. And so if you are kneeling, curled over in darkness and desperate for the right words to fix what's wrong, you can know that the word was made flesh to bring light to your darkness. And that Whatever you're going through cannot destroy this hope. Christ was made flesh for you. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.